Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, I'm just going to do this as a quick video because I've been asked quite a few times and there's also been stated in other videos that uh, the particular website that's used to hack this particular device, this Rigor DP832, which is, I've had now for, oh, I think it's about five years, something like that. I love it, out of the power supplies I've had. Uh, one, which was the Tenma, there was another um, uh, circuit specialist, and the uh, the previous, the last one that I had, no, 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 in actual fact, the, I, the Digimax I sold, got ripped off really bad on that. Um, but the other one, which was the 10, 10 amp, 30 volts, I uh, blew that up. I managed to blow it up with, where's that little device gone? This thing here, which is like, um, puts um, negative ions into the atmosphere, but those two ends, these two ends here, touch together and it blew it up. And it also blew up the logic side, because when I tested the, um, uh, the transistors, they worked, but the logic side just wouldn't have none of it. So that technically killed that, and it's just been gotten rid of scrap. But this one, no matter what I've done with it, it has worked successfully, and I'm very, very happy with it. And so, because people have said, hey, I can't get it to work, it doesn't work anymore, that site, so I'm gonna show you again uh, that it does work. Uh, well, in natural fact, we're gonna find out together now because I, there's a few things I hadn't put in there. So we're gonna hit the utility button there. We're gonna go up to the next page. Mm, go to the next page. Go into option. Uh, let me just zoom in. Go into option. And as you can see here, I've got the high resolution, the analyzer, the monitor, and the trigger. But I've not installed the RS-232 nor the LAN. So I'm going to put the LAN in for now, because I don't really need the RS-232. But I'm going to put the LAN in for now. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show that this, uh, this, this site still works. And um, do it now. So let me just switch this thing over to here. OK, so first of all, I've got to look for my serial number. And that I'm going to find, I believe, in my system info. So there's my serial number. So we're gonna put that in. You gotta do this, the correct casing. You can't, uh, you know, skip it around or anything. So we're gonna go DP8C2. Mm, DP. First of all, we're gonna get rid of everything in here. DP8C2, I believe that is. DP8C2, 3020147. Now, the option that we're going to use here, let's just backspace that out, is now my version, my uh, up to 1.6 is the DP8328. Don't want to use that because mine is 1.16. So the DP832B starting from version 1.09 is the one that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to put the LAN in. So that actual option there is F6LT. So let's type this in here. F6LT. And I'm going to ask it to generate me a code. So here's the code. Now, just to make my life easier, if I can, I'm just going to make this bigger. Doesn't work like that. <laughs> that doesn't work like that. So I'm just going to copy this. Copy. And I'm just going to quickly throw it into something that's going to help me see it better, which is going to be uh, Office. And we're going to use Writer. And I can just chuck it in here. Paste. I'd suggest you do the same thing because it's going to make your life a lot easier for when you're doing this. Now, I'm not really proficient on here. Nope, let's get rid of that. I just want to make the big thing bigger. So let's just go up to 18. There you go, that's good enough for me to see. So you gotta do it the same case, of course. So let's go back here. And we're gonna go into here, we're gonna go into option, and we're gonna install. Now all it wants is this code. So let me just shift this over to here, like that. So we can use that jug dial. Just get rid of my soldering iron. 
and we use dog jar so we want m h f to start off with so let's go m and select m h f so let's go uh, oh. uh, uh, select and we're going to go to god why do i keep losing that select button there it is m h f 2L636. So now we're going to go 2L636. A89UHF. So A eight oh wrong way oops UHF H F uh, L B T L L B T L L B T L A eight Z K Oh Oh I don't know why I went on that way A eight Z or Z Z uh, K L A eight. Oh no, let's just check that right. L A eight Z K L A eight Z K three T G K eighty. So three T uh, T. GK K eight T eight T. Right, so we got that in there. We say okay. The official version has been installed, and now we can see there. Whoops. Now we can see there. We got the official version in for the LAN. So that's going to be perfectly okay. I'm not going to bother with the RS-232. The idea was just to show uh, that this the site still works and the codes still work as long as you get them in correctly. I know a lot of people have had trouble. A lot of people said, hey, it doesn't work for me. And do you know if it still works? So this just goes to show that yes, it still does work and it's you know, pretty straightforward to, to put it in. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.